Right, so welcome back to another video. We are actually going to discuss all the signs and coincidences that we experienced through our own. Well, not all of them because we can't remember all of them. There were so many. But what we can remember, we're going to discuss with you today, even down to just coincidences, to the paranormal and ultimately to our experience in the Catholic Church in Salt Lake, which we're going to talk about because it is... It's just, I've never experienced anything quite like that in my whole life. <laughs> I've had experiences, a lot of experiences with the paranormal throughout my life and with my job and currently where I work. But this was personal to me with work, what happened. So we're going to be talking about it and I'll insert clips because I want to kind of reconstruct what happened as well. So anyway... Dustin's waiting for me. I think he's been waiting a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, apologies for my little boy in the background. I shaved him today, so he's very like itchy and scratchy. <laughs> I shaved him right down. Anyway, let's get on with the vlog. And also, I just want to apologize for the video quality. I am filming both on my phone for Dustin, but also on my laptop. And because it's the evening and the little lamps on, the light's a bit grainy. So just so you're aware of that as well. But with that being said, let's call Dustin. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> I just told him I'd done an intro and he's like, have you now? <laughs> <laughs> have you now mm. without me <laughs> yeah and then i won't even get to see it till you guys see it that's the thing yeah, you know that's life isn't it yes it is yes it is so right. how did you want to start this video baby i just asked you that before we started filming and you were like oh we'll just and get said, into it i i said i don't know that's what i that's what i meant <laughs> oh <my God>. so <laughs> slick <laughs> this is gonna be a long video i can just feel it so everybody um we've had a lot of different things happen sarah's had a lot more like supernatural and stuff happen in her life than, than i have obviously but we've just had a lot of coincidences and a lot of things in sync um together that we just kind of wanted to talk about so it's kind of hard for us to just we don't really know where to start on this stuff. There's just been so much. This list has like 22 things on it, and I know this isn't all of them. So what are you rolling your eyes? You gave them all to me. <laughs> this is what we – we made the list last week, the week before. I didn't realize there was that many. Yeah. Uh, I think we're having a moment. <laughs> I'm just staring at you. Gorgeous. I missed you today. No good. No good. That yard work did you good. <laughs> Has your cheeks all flushed. <laughs> that was the sun. I've got, I'm all red. I yeah. burnt. It was pretty brutal, wasn't it? Yeah. That was a big pile I was of out grass, in the honey. garden for Huge. ages. Huge pile. Should have showed him that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to the topic. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay, um, so, so science list. You okay, got it? okay, yeah, let's. I'll start, <laughs> as it's usually you. Um, I think so. Very, very early on, I definitely noticed signs and coincidences that were strange, like even down to the fact, like seeing when you were in Idaho, Idaho beer in Lidl's, you know. Like, I've never even heard of that brand. I, Idaho beers in England is what she's saying, and British in her little in her little village store. That's what you're saying, right? I Yeah, like, I've never even heard of that brand, and I don't even look at beers or anything, I know. But just for that to kind of stand out, that you just know... I'm going to find that on my list. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tick it off. Got it. You know? That was number 14. Oh, was it? Oh, so eight, nine, 19, yes. Okay. <laughs> so it was just little things like that. And like, I remember walking into one of our clients' rooms who had a t movie on and it was, I, I could have sworn it was like boys, hey, cheerleaders or something. It's something and it was just like so random and yet so significant. 
So there were all these little signs. <laughs> and and some let, let's let's say this at least some of these came when when maybe you were doubting too, like if this was where you wanted to maybe keep going with your life, we're in a relationship with me and different things. Well, I wasn't in a relationship at that point because these were like the early on stuff, right at the very yeah. beginning. Yeah. And it was kind of weird. I think it's, it's very strange. But <laughs> because because <laughs> as soon as we started corresponding, within a week, I was kind of like, I don't want to say infatuated because that makes me sound weird. <laughs> but is it truthful? I, I can I can wait for your messages and I was always excited to hear from you and you were constantly on my mind <laughs> so yeah okay I love it. Keep, going. keep going please by all means <laughs> I think that's enough <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. Don't be embarrassed. It's just it's, it's the how that's how relationships start. You know, that's how love starts. You're always constantly thinking about the other person. That's that's normal. Is that how love starts? It's how it started for us. So, like before, like. I don't know, this was in the last couple of weeks, too, when we would speak and we started talking about the supernatural, especially if that's something that's in your home. Dude, the, the electronics would really act up super big time when we started talking about that kind of stuff. That just kind of reminded me of that. So, even down to the sound that was making the Morse code. And, and um, I know I heard a man's voice over the, over the electrical stuff. Just weird, dude. And then we heard it on the little one that... Uh, me and you sent back and forth the, whoops, sorry about that. Over the one that me and you sent back and forth, the voice, voice recording, we even heard that. So I'm just, that's what it reminded me of when it started glitching. Oh. I know, I think that's what, and do you remember before I was saying I feel really nervous? Yeah. When that happened. And you would have those feelings too I'm when that stuff would happen before, that energy. I am having that feeling now. Yeah. And my stomach's knotted. We got this. You okay? You want to keep going? Yeah, keep going. You okay to go on? Keep going. Okay. Yeah, that's just that's how you would remember you'd feel the feelings in it, but I, I know what I heard and I know what it did when we talk about it, especially the stuff at your house, what it would do. It was insane. Insane and scary and kind of makes me be in awe and everything all at the same time. But I know. It's really crazy. Right. I actually don't especially, especially capturing the voice was crazy. I know because I didn't even hear that voice when we were talking. But just to give a bit of back history, so basically we were on a call and I was playing one of the first videos I put up about us and um, you heard a male voice, didn't you? I didn't hear it. But yeah, um, I think I, I asked you who was over there. I think I even asked you who was over there. Hey, who's over there? What are you talking about? You were like, but it kind of made sense because I told you I heard it. You didn't hear it. But then you were like, yeah, something happened at the same time. I heard that voice. I don't really remember the conversation. So you were going through something the same time I was hearing that voice. It was something, something like that. But I know on the next one, the one you played for your mom, too, I think you played it where it sounded like Morse code. But right at the beginning of that, you could hear a man's voice yeah. briefly. And we both heard that. Yeah, I know. So, well, actually, and it was right when we were talking about it, right when we were talking about the, the spirit or whatever that is, the energy got really high and stuff started happening a lot. It's strange, man. Just, I, I never encountered nothing like that. <laughs> I'm actually going to insert that clip here, that recording, and you can judge for yourself and see. So, yeah. And then I end up looking back at these videos. So I had a quick look. But yeah, I'm gonna go do um yeah, do vlog tomorrow if you can. That'd be great. I am um, I'm gonna have to go to sleep now, otherwise I will never get up tomorrow. I just I just don't want to. Oh, I really just don't want to get up. Can you hear it in my voice? I'm like, oh jeez. But long term goals. <laughs> Definitely. 
I need to um, knock her down this week and take off some of those things that are on my list that I haven't done yet. Like my bedroom, yeah. I haven't really decluttered anything apart from the top of the wardrobe and my shoes. That's it. <laughs> so I need to start plowing through that this week. Well, it's good. Otherwise, we, it just never will get done. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I miss you. I'm going to miss you the next couple of days because I know I won't be able to have so much contact. Like, but I'm definitely going to try and you in the morning. Thank you. And on Monday as well. Because like you said, we need that. And I do feel better. It helps me. And it helps me focus with my day ahead and get me through. Because I am struggling. I'm going to cry. I don't want to cry. I just, I just struggle at the moment. But it's all psychological, isn't it? I think I just need to focus my brain to be a bit more positive. Yeah. I wish I could have been there today. Right. Those sort of things you shouldn't have to do on your own. Alright, I'm going to go and brush my teeth. I know typing will be coming. Did you not just say that before? Did you send me a video? Do you know? I have no idea. But yeah, I'm going to go and do my teeth and then I'll be back and I'll just... I'll see if you messaged again and then I'm going to go to sleep. The more you're... Uh, you're, you're you're telling me your feelings and how you love me and miss me. It's getting really, really active. Dad, I believe in the supernatural realm. I believe in. I believe it, man. I just do. And I don't. It, that doesn't mean it's negative because they're doing that. But I mean, maybe they feed off our emotions, or we feed off theirs because, or it, or whatever it is. Because that's exactly what happened, baby. When you were getting emotional and you were telling me um, stuff, is when it came through. And like last night, I don't think we were talking about anything too deep. When we heard that, but definitely, uh, this is a new thing that just started. You know what I mean? And yeah, and you're right because you were recording the message to me. It was completely on your end. So, one of the things that happened that apps a while left me shaking and crying was I was going to write you a letter, and I was like, "Do I?" call in my soulmate or make reference to soulmates and I was like and this was the 24th of August 2022 this happened <laughs> what was that look? 22 again and I I wasn't sure if soulmate was too strong a word but anyway I was looking for quotes I was in Clara's room again <laughs> so it was the hive of activity that room I was in Clara's room using her computer and I had my hand on my mouse and I had a soda can and it just moved it like somebody just pushed it towards me. I saw it out of the corner of my eye, I stopped to look and then I felt like a brush go down my left arm, just a gentle like touch and then I was kind of like frozen in shock but then I looked at my computer screen and I saw a quote and this was the quote. True love is like ghosts, which everyone talks about and few have seen. It was the most like, oh my God. <laughs> it was terrifying. Too, huh? It was absolutely yeah. terrifying. And then the next day, the very next morning, I got a letter from Dustin. Can I read it? Yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I read the section? And it said, uh, you're going to anyway, go ahead. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and it said this, I want to marry you, 
not just to do or anything other than I'm in love with you and I want to have a family and be a family with you and have a partner to walk, run and hold onto the rest of the way. And if heaven's real, then even as when we're ghost. You wrote that. And that was the very next day after what had happened the night before. And that's the first time you ever even said that to me. Yeah. And it was just so weird and like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's scary, huh, wasn't it? It's scary, but it's also in a weird way, kind of exciting. Ex what? Comforting too? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of, ex it's, it's all of those things. <laughs> It's like exciting, scary, mind blowing, unexplainable. I don't know, but then it's also like, yeah, surely this has got to be real. It's got to be the real deal. So you said a comment a second ago where you, you don't feel that soulmate's too strong of a comment now, do you? Is 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 this for people watching, or is this for your personal? Self. you're cutting out of course i am <laughs> you're frozen you froze up right when you said that you froze again what stop it <laughs> i swear to god i'm not lying you're, you're frozen right now <laughs> you're frozen Since we started talking about that stuff oh stop it i i can't stop you're it. frozen <laughs> if you can see your eyes <laughs> things oh, stop it what was the original question you're making me laugh and i'm scared as well <laughs> i said you just made a comment before before we started and you made this on the last vlog where you said we're soulmates but maybe that's too strong of a of a, of a term you don't feel that way now do you still feel that's too strong of a term or do you feel that it's true <laughs> <laughs> you're stop <laughs> You're making me nervous. Stop it. You're not frozen now, but you were. Every time you go to answer that. I I would say, oh well, you know what I think. I gave you my answer. No, you did, and then you said something different in the last vlog, and then you just said something <laughs> again, so I was just wanting to clarify it. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> That's my baby. Right, so I thought I'd just show you what happened in Clara's room with the true love is like ghost quote. And just just so you can visualize it because it was the most, I, I just burst out crying and literally my daughter came up laughing at me thinking I'd lost the plot. But it was in that motion and at that time, it was so powerful and I, you can't explain things like that, but I just thought I'd kind of run through what happened. So I was on Clara's computer because her computer is quite quick. And anyway, I had a drink here. And I had my little mouse. I had my hand on my mouse. Anyway, so I literally saw my drink just go like that at that speed. It was just, it, that's exactly how it happened. It was just like, it got pushed towards me. I stopped and then I felt a brush down this arm to my hand. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I, I, I just remember that. And when I looked up at my screen, this quote was there. And when I read that quote, and with that, what had just happened, I remember just, just, I just, I wasn't even scared. I just, it was almost like you don't, it was almost like I felt like you shouldn't be questioning whether you're soulmates because you are, you know? And it was, it was, it was the most bizarre thing. And I just, I just, I burst into tears because I, I just felt like you're being told because I was so unsure about things and I was so unsure about Dustin's past and where he would go in the future and what people would think and what people would think of me 
and I was really losing sight of really at the heart of it what it's all about so yeah that that's what happened with that one let's talk about something else about... <laughs> something hey, sweet finish. like we have an order we're doing this let's finish right let's go like we're doing it baby we got this right you give Bye. one you give one because i'm a bit nervous i can't give them because these are a lot which happened to you you have to give them so well, they have gonna... to go in order we're going in order right now okay like when we first when we first met <laughs> that look i love it i love it i love it i love it that look, don't, don't do that you're making me laugh <laughs> yes sir but that's just really weird that when we talk about that stuff we start it just it's strange yeah we just had static interference as well when we stopped and then and i recorded freezing, and freezing and just weird man yeah when we talk about certain things like emotional or it's strange i think so so sound number <laughs> yeah 22 22 yeah. was his his first cell number for me to know him by. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, don't yeah. I don't know how to phrase that, sorry. But it was kind of like, oh, I think you just casually dropped it in. So, yeah, my cell number 22. And I was like, really? That's like my lucky number. And I don't, and, I don't, and, I don't know if you believed me when I said things, that. Yeah. But it was, it was like, that is really significant number. It was my date of birth. It was my daughter's date of birth. So it has a lot of meaning to me. And then he's like, well, yeah, my cell number is 22. <laughs> <laughs> that is odd, huh? <sighs> and we've had that, we've had a couple times with the 22s, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh. Yeah, I the church I, church experience is on the twenty second. Should we talk about the church experience last? Because I feel like like that's the most yeah powerful absolutely. one. But we're getting to it. But I just kind of a little tease right there, you know. What I mean? <laughs> Stay <laughs> watching to the <laughs> end. What do you call it? Clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> um. But it's just, it's been a number of things with our, your name in the book, um, all the books I started reading, I seen your name in them and like, I'm talking your first and your last name in books that I, I was reading. Um, I remember different things. And then I remember you telling me about that. With each of our birthdays on them. It's just been so many significant things. I look at it like that. You know what I mean? Out of all the change, they don't even hand those quarters out anymore here. Those are old, considered old here. They don't have them. Yeah. So, but yeah, but they won't know what you're talking about. What quarters? Well, when she was staying here. On the day you proposed. I got changed. Oh my God, you froze it. Hello, you're frozen again. At this point in time when we're talking about engagement. Yeah, actually, huh? Was it our engagement day? Yeah. The day I proposed? It was literally, yeah. it was literally anyway, half an hour before you proposed. Yeah, and I went and got changed, and then when I was going through it, which I, I just do, I look through them because you never know, and there's two quarters in there, and they were had both of our birth dates on them, our years. I mean, and they don't they, those quarters, you guys, they don't they're, they're from the seventies, you know, they don't they don't they don't hand those and out they, anymore. And they were at birth years, so. and I have them here. I have them. Yeah. See. <laughs> yeah, but they just it's all new money here because state quarters and stuff in the United States. They just don't do that. So but he got saying, but just a coincidence where we both got out of all that. You know what I mean? But he had a pile had, of quarters, didn't you? Yeah. A, a pile. And out of all of those, there was only two coins that was the 70s. And it was yours. Period. And then they were both for our birth year. And birth one years. was his birth year and one was mine. And the rest were like new because you just don't find those. So And then I just proposed. That's kind of cool so and in the books like I, I was speaking on that and then even though so there's a non-profit here called usara so you guys I, I heard me speak about it and stuff i interviewed to work there but they wanted me to get more experience and it's something i would really like to do it's a peer mentor peer support kind of program people help people struggling and it's called usara uh, and you frozen again <laughs> it's kind of you're frozen again you too. 
Huh? You too. You were very so- just when yeah. you were going on about you sorry, you sorry. Yeah. And just every every it's always like that. It's always keeps it present and I don't know, it's just just any I never experienced like signs and stuff like that. I wasn't really a believer in that stuff and never had that stuff happen to me, you know. Especially the supernatural. That stuff freaks me out when that happens to you. But mm-hmm. scary kind of. <laughs> so it's easy to discount a few things you can, but not as many as I always it's I just I could never ever discount it. It's it's easy to do that, you know, but not when it's one after the other after the other and they're like but, really big, big things. But I think so. the thing with you, Sarah, I remember <laughs> when you came and said you're never gonna guess what they're called. And then you were like, It's a you, Sarah. And especially so because it was weird. somewhere where I actually want a career at. Yeah. It's a place where I want to have my career. I, I, that's what I want to do more than anything, you guys, is be there working right there in that organization. And my lovely bride-to-be, <laughs> Sarah. And so, and you, it's, Sarah. It's, just, it's, it's significant. If anything, it's significant to me. But it's just those things after another, after another, for names and books and, and quarters and ghost encounters and... Uh, the beer and just the Idaho and just everything's the cell number being the favorite cell number. And then we're going to get to the experience here at the end of the video. The church experience happened on the 22nd. It's just, and that was totally random. Even going in that church, we were, we were going to my employer to do my direct deposit stuff. And we, and we just happened to pass it and decided to go in it. It was not even, we didn't even talk about the church before we got there or nothing. We just happened and wow we were gonna go into another church first weren't we but yes. it was locked yeah but we didn't even bring them up until we seen them the churches you get what i mean it wasn't something we planned through the day or that it just happened on that day in that church on the 22nd so it was nothing that was planned to go there on the, that day on the 22nd it was just it's just happened man so to me that's that's uh that never signs to me so Hi, baby. <laughs> it's quite nice seeing you talk so passionately. I always talk passionately to you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you want to get into this morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please do. They're like, oh, huh? oh this is like Utah again. <laughs> <laughs> No, we avoided that. I remember. <laughs> Just to remind you, I got a ring of my finger. <laughs> and, and for all I know, I could have gave that to you on the 22nd. I don't know. You know what I mean? Or I could have bought it on the 22nd. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, it's just, it's been one thing after another, after another, after another, after another, that are specifically signs that, that deal with us. So. Some of these I forgot about because you did tell me about them, but I'm glad you journaled them and wrote them down. I'm so glad, you know, so glad you did. Because obviously I have the, the written stuff from you in my letters, but I have so yeah, many letters I haven't went through them and put them in a book yet. There's probably so many things written in those letters somewhere that we've forgotten about. Oh, there's about. all kinds of things written in them letters. <laughs> 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 Lots of stuff, people. I know. Well, you've, I, you've got the list. I, I can't remember. You have the list right next to you. I've seen it. No, I had, I had that entry for that. You want me to pick one and have you talk about it? Yeah. Um, how about going to the store and seeing the, the shirts? And I was in Pahrump at the time, Nevada, in Federal Holding, when you seen the shirts. And one said Salt Lake. One said Nevada and one said Salt Lake. That's just kind of weird. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just things like that. I was Googling sweatshirts. Especially. And it said yeah. like, there was two sweatshirts alongside each other, Colorado. Was it Colorado or Nevada? Nevada and then was, Salt Lake. Yeah, and Salt Lake. I thought you'd seen those in the store. No, the beer was in the store. Yeah. No. Yeah, you were... I was at home Googling, looking for clay shopping. Yeah. <laughs> I have one on here. I have one on here being dumped. I don't know why I put that on here. It was something with you thought because you hadn't heard from me for so long or something. I dumped you or 
Mm-hmm. And then you would have the sign, you would see a sign or something. I don't know, something where, because I was locked down for months. But I don't know, I wrote it on was the it, list, oh, being dumped. Well, was, so it was, that, it was, a, no, it was, that was just um, a song, wasn't it? Huh? That was a song. What, being dumped? <laughs> Prophecy, the number 22 holds a significant place. It is often liked, it is often linked to fulfilling divine promises and God's revelation. The prophetic meaning of the number 22 in the Bible is seen in the 22 chapters of the book of Revelations filled with prophetic visions of divine messages. The number 22 also connects to the 22,000 Levites God chose to serve in the sanctuary. It underscores the prophetic significance of the 22 of the number 22 as the Levites were entrusted with maintaining the sanctity of the sanctuary and carrying forth God's commands. Moreover, the 22 letters of Hebrew alphabet, which God used to create the world, further enhanced the prophetic meaning of the number 22. In the New Testament, it's connected with completeness and perfection. Jesus even quoted Psalm 22 before his death, indicating completion. The symbolism of the number 22 in biblical prophecy is open to interpretation, yet its presence is evident throughout the scriptures, delving into the significance of the numbers 22. It, number 22 in this life in the life of jesus it said that he quoted from the 22 old testament books the number therefore holds notable biblical associations it also appears in the geneal- genealogical lineage from adam to jacob and the tabernacle's construction emphasizing its importance in god's divine plan moreover it is associated with levites with the levites who god chose to maintain the sanctuary the sanctuary sanctity and then in the new testament 22 is prominently featured in the book of revelations which contains 22 chapters filled with prophetic visions and divine wisdom it symbolizes god's complete revelation and the fulfillment of his divine plan underscoring number the underscoring the number of spiritual and prophetic significance interpretations and perspectives of of the number 22 while interpretations and perspectives of the number 22 may vary its spiritual biblical significance is universally acknowledged some view it as a symbol of divine wisdom and revelations while others associate it with creation and spiritual enlightenment so that's pretty much the gist of it now it's repeating itself but powerful that's what it sounds like (laughs) so you guys i couldn't pronounce her name very good when i first met her because I couldn't understand her accent when we would speak on the phone, first of all. I couldn't. I could not understand your accent. And you kept telling me my name is Zara, and I thought you were saying Zara. And you said it's 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 pronounced it's Sara, but with the with a Z, the Z sound. So I thought your name was Zara. So I just ended up start calling you Blondie because I couldn't pronounce your name. I'm so embarrassed <laughs> that I couldn't. So I just called her Blondie, and that's what I call her still. So that was my Blondie. And yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so <laughs> when you were in prison, you read a newspaper, right, didn't you? From Salt Lake, yes. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. there was these little cartoons in that newspaper. And the one cartoon was called, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. And you, you ripped out the clipping, and I have that. So you can see it says Dustin. And then on the back was another little one that would say, Blondie. They were on the back. They were attached to each other, weren't they? Yeah. The cartoon? Directly. Yeah, that's... On the back. Yeah. You remember? Yeah, but that's just kind of weird that the cartoons were attached. And then flip it like over, that. and it says Dustin. Yeah. Yep. So that's, that's why I sent that to you, because it's not so much that they were in the same newspaper, but they were attached. They were back to back with each other. Well, so. it's just weird that there should be these little cartoon things, and one's called Dustin, and then the other one's Blondie. Mm-hmm. Although they are, they are cartoons that have been established, but they're, but it's what I call you and my name is just, yeah, it's just, to me, them are signs, but and, just, and in just different little things. Yeah. So that's another little weird thing that was a bit uh, weird and a uh, bit laughable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not creepy. To kind of jokey. <laughs> so shall I move on? Right, I'm gonna huh? t- I'm gonna tell the padlock story really quick. Okay. So basically, I had a padlock that was attached to a box. I c- I lost the key and I had to cut it open. So I cut it open. It was you ruined. Keep, you keep keepsakes in there for me and stuff, and you just keep personal papers in there with it. But you do you got it's, my stuff's in there too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I I actually binned that lock because I couldn't use it again. So I put it in the bin. 
thought nothing of it. A couple of weeks later, <clears throat> at 10 to 1 in the morning, I got up and it was on my chair that's in my bedroom. It was just there, placed on the seat. And I was like, I just froze. And then I thought, that is a sign. That, that's got to be a sign. I checked my phone and Dustin's son had messaged me to tell me that his dad was going to be released. He's got a release date and gave me the release date. And I, I just thought that's so weird that a pad, like a lock, padlock release. At the same time. It's so weird. I know. It was like yeah. within 20 minutes. So that was and weird. That the padlock was actually out of the bin and, and showed up too was yeah. really weird. When I put that in the so. bin, there's no reason. It was just, it's just strange the things that happen. Like, but when you tell it, it just sounds like, yeah, right, okay. Because it just sounds so weird, like unbelievable. But if they were anybody, if you guys, if there, anybody that's watching, if there's anybody that's even watching, you guys, you would, you would, you would definitely think something about all this stuff too if it was you. You just would. It's just too, too many, too many back to back to back to back to back stuff. It's just it's constant. It keeps it's like constant. It keeps coming. Yeah. Like, I'm not even going to say about being woken up in the middle of the night and hearing a man's voice. <laughs> and then, and then, like, within 10 minutes, you were ringing me. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. creepy, man. Yeah, let's not talk about that because I've got to sit here in the same house. Right. So, we're on our last uh, thing, pretty much. Yeah. As far as the sign stuff goes, and you want to start? Not the church. No, you can start. How it happened upon it. Um, no, I, I don't really know where to even start this, actually. Um, I would like you to start. You could. Me? Yeah, if you would. <laughs> you know? okay, okay, so Dustin decided to drag me to a church. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We weren't even going to that church. That ain't even why we were in that neighborhood or nothing. Well, we you point, you pointed out the church, and then we went to your temp agency, and then we came out, and then we went to the side of the churches. Yeah. And the first one we came across was locked, and then we continued down to the next one, the Catholic church. The Cathedral of the Madeline. Yeah. And went in there. I th and we were alone. We were alone, but we weren't alone. <laughs> well, there were people in the church, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> we'll talk about it. It's okay. It was just. A, it you was a very intense. It was a very intense. Uh, very intense and overwhelming experiment or experience very it really was i don't know i just looking at looking at the cross and just looking just it was it was quite an experience man super super, super experience but. wow <clears throat> i feel so stupid talking i don't even know about why this. we sat down in there we just sat down we were just looking around and all of a sudden next thing you know we're sitting down i mean that wasn't the plan that was just to see and go you know what i mean i know next and then you know we're on the bench i know but then i kind of i don't know i just but i suddenly all these emotions start i started to feel and i remember looking at the cross as well i got drawn to that cross but before that I remember feeling all these emotions and I started to cry and I remember feeling like a loss of a child but then I looked at the cross and I was like sometimes you have to make I felt like the message was you have to make sacrifices in your life to do a greater good and help more people sort of thing absolutely not to mention the connection too but I remember just being sat there and really feeling connected to you and I felt that that was our, going to be our journey. Yeah. And then not to mention we couldn't stop crying. Both yeah. <laughs> and I remember... And we're not speaking this, so we're not having a conversation. This is stuff that's going on inside of us, but we, were, we weren't having a conversation in there. We just both just... We both had an, a, a shared experience, man. Yeah. Which is very rare. Very rare. There wasn't nobody in that church at that point. 
Well, there was. There was people over on the but, other pew. But, but they were, like, that, just doing their happened. own thing and... Yeah. Weren't they? Yeah. yeah. And they weren't... None of them were going like that. But I didn't feel embarrassed by it. I didn't feel... I didn't... Nothing like that. I know, but I remember. I remember thinking it's not really the whole message of like. I suppose, like, I'm not saying Jesus didn't exist because I think he did, and I think he probably was like a charity person, helping the sick, helping the poor. I just remember thinking it's not about religion; it's about humanity. That's, relationship. That relationship. That was what I felt in that church. This, all of this, it's not about religion. It's 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 the real message is humanity. Yeah. It's not about power. It's not about wealth and gold. None of it matters. No. None of it matters. That stuff easy come, easy go, man, honestly. What does it profit a whole man to gain the world but lose his soul, right? <laughs> <laughs> that just went completely over my head then. <laughs> that completely went over my head then. <laughs> so you're about ready yeah. to come out of your poised mode. So you, so you just asked me what the message I felt, and I kind of yeah. At that time, I felt I really felt connected to you, and I really felt that we had been brought together. And we and that the reason we brought together were brought together was because we have something to achieve together. That is, on a, then, which is on a humanitarian level. And then now you were just saying that well, you don't really know. Maybe it was just the connection off each other's energy. So, what was a more powerful message, the one that you're giving yourself now, or that one? Well. I kind of feel like there has been so many signs and I feel like even from spirits in my house and then with that, it's, but then when you say it out loud, it just sounds really bizarre and really unbelievable. Because it, it is bizarre. <laughs> it's, it's supernatural. It's, it's spiritual. There's nothing that we, our finite minds can comprehend about that. They're just not. It's outside of our, our realm of ever doing and acting that way. That's why it sounds that way. But I think that experience is more powerful than, than the thoughts that we could ever talk ourselves out of, honestly. And that's what we do, obviously, as human beings. We try to logic everything. You can't put logic onto that. It's just mind-blowing. But I do wonder why that church, why that one? Maybe it had nothing to do with the church. It just happened to be that that was supposed to happen at that time, in that minute, in that place, in our lives. You know, maybe the church is what made it kick in. Maybe, maybe but maybe it didn't have anything to do with the church. The message was the message. We maybe we could have got it outside of the church. I don't know. I just know we got the message. So. And I think looking at all of that stuff around us really helped, honestly. What if we would have been in the forest and, and had that? You know? Think it would have been as powerful? I don't know. Probably not. I suppose it was because of where we were. We had to see what we had to see. I don't know. I just... I look at predestination a little bit, you know, because we've spoke on that and you believe, you believe in predestination, right? Yeah. And that's, that's what it was supposed to be in that moment. I don't, I just think, and I think it's separate from maybe not necessarily the church that did it. I don't think the church did it. We just received the message where we received it, you know, I think we were going to receive the message no matter what. <laughs> You know what I mean? The powers that be chose to give it to us in that place. (laughs) 
Oh, God, we're going to be taken up in a straight jacket, you and me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but realistically, how many people would have that experience? Like all this, I, I, all the signs, the all the big, supernatural so stuff, I, the spiritual the stuff. Huge. I don't, I'm sure, I'm sure God or creator or whatever, whatever that was speaks to other people too, honestly. But they, we were being specifically spoken to, you know what I mean? That message was for us. So nobody's going to make me think different. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't for a whole group of people. That was, we were being talked to directly and that's awesome, man. So awesome. Don't talk mm. yourself out of it, babe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> With your logical brain that you really have. So. I know, but it could it could have just been telepathy. It could have just been a self-connection. Now, now you're back to that? What? <laughs> huh? Well, you just never know, do you? Yeah, I do know because, because we, we were told. Yeah, but you've said you you feel like we feel each other's energies we do we do we do i say that only we both say that <laughs> there's just been too much not to, to for me to not to believe that personally Dust that's pretty much our, our, our so dustin right thinks now, he's but... now the new jesus <laughs> What'd you say? I said, you think you're the new Jesus now? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Zara? <laughs> super <laughs> random, super <laughs> random. <laughs> Deal with that. Because <laughs> that's how people would think. Why? Because we were we were told we have a purpose or we have a plan. There's a plan for us. So people will think I'm the new Jesus. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. But, you know, my dad was like that. Oh, I've had a vision, da, 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 da. And then dad, he suddenly, then he thought dad, he was. That's not the same. It's not even on the same level of what we experienced. So I don't go around. That was a personal thing. I don't go around blabbing that. Oh, I'm chosen, da, 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 I don't do that. But that's what my dad said, and that's how I I just worry that people would think that. Well, they might now, because we didn't even tell anybody until we decided to make this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This, that was for us. That message was for us not to share that message. Honestly, I mean, I'm down to make whatever video, babe. I'm good with that. But... We're not doing it in that, in that, in, with that angle involved. Oh, look at me. Not at all. We're just sharing, man, what happened to us. You know what I mean? Your dad was, yeah. That's a whole different thing right there. <laughs> that's, that's different. That's fanaticalism, man. Yeah, it's finest. You know what I mean? sweetheart <laughs> when i just look at him he always goes what's for your heart love you love you too i just don't want us to cheat ourselves out of what we were given man by talking ourselves out of it you know because we were shown something to do something to to make a difference to do this and we received it humbly not we didn't we didn't exalt ourselves with that or say we're better than anybody or look at us we took that very humble that was a very deep experience there's that's the only way to take that you know you want to start laughing right now <laughs> you really want to start laughing right now <laughs> you get you get you get what i mean kind of Yeah. Speak to me. I wasn't actually laughing. My eyes were starting to water. <laughs> you have a big old beautiful smile on your face. I thought you were going to start laughing. <laughs> okay. 
but I, 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 we've never, we've never looked at that or spoken about it. Like, look at us or exalted at all in that, but humble, because that's how you, you, you are. If something like that happens to you, that it's very humbling. It's not something to be a braggart about. That's absolutely not. I'm assuming that's how it is in the presence of the almighty or whatever spiritual, very humbling where you want to just hit your knees, man. You know? I know, but it's it's what you do with that now, isn't it? Like moving yeah, forward. We're working, on it. we're working on it, baby. <laughs> we're working on it. You're getting ready to take classes. You're going to do that. I mean, it's going to be a process. It's not going to happen overnight because we have a lot against us to be together. You know, we have a lot of stuff to, to overcome to be together, but we're doing it. We're putting in the work. We're doing our check-ins. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Absolutely. It's a process. Look, we're still here with each other after everything, after everything, our little quirks, our little bumps, our little whatever, and we're still here, you know, so there's great hope for me in that. Hey, you, woman, Marty, there's great, great hope for that. Yeah, I, I personally don't care if people think I'm crazy or whatever because I, I know I know what I felt, I know what I, I experienced. And it can, it's not going to be shaken. So, and if and if you are shaken, I'm going to pull you along with me. And when I get shaken, and when I get shaken, you pull me along with you. That's what we do, and until we can walk together through it. You know. Right, so it's the very next day after we shot that video about signs. So after we did that video, both of us, I know how I felt. I felt very uncomfortable talking about that stuff. I felt very uncomfortable sat in my living room. I kept looking at my laptop screen where I could see obviously the background and I I just actually felt really uncomfortable, like I was going to see something or see a movement. I didn't feel alone when we were shooting that video. It was very strange. Anyway, so me and Dustin were shooting that video at about between 9 and 10 o'clock at night. After that video, we did a check-in with each other, a mid-month check-in to see what we've achieved off our goals list to, with immigration, wedding planning and which route we want to go down and everything. So we were doing that and after we'd completed that I went upstairs to settle and then we were talking for a bit and then we watched a video of a YouTuber we both follow um, and then we started talking. <laughs> And I was going to like, sign off and say goodnight because it was like three in the morning. And we were talking and I said, oh, I'm going to edit. I'll try and start editing that video tomorrow. Um, I'm going to see about doing like a recreation clips, you know, just on some of the stuff, just so you can visualize how it happened. And he, he basically said that, after I said that, he started to get really anxious. He felt really anxious thinking about that video we'd just made, that we'd just filmed. Dustin said he felt like like in this pit of his stomach anxious and I said, don't say that because I'm feeling that right this minute. I don't know why, but I'm feeling really tense and on edge out of nowhere. The next thing, we heard like a crackle on the... on on the phone I said did you hear that it was like a that interference that we've heard before and he said yeah and and look at what we're talking about and then he leant into the camera like this and I'm like what are you doing and he's like shh and I'm and basically he heard something uh in fact this morning he left me a voice message yeah I heard a deep I heard a deep voice when uh, it's like that, whoa, 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 like that. When I asked you, hey, what's that? And you're like, did you do that or whatever? You know what I'm talking about at that point last night? 
Uh, that's super creepy, man. <clears throat> but I hope you uh, hope you feel a little bit more better today, and you're not feeling that anxiety or that just feeling all weird from that shit. I see that's all wiped out after that video. Uh, feeling okay today, I guess. Right, so I hope you've liked this video. I know it's been a kind of weird and it's intriguing and unbelievable, but these things have happened to us and there's been more as well. Lots of signs, different things that we didn't actually even get around to talking about on the list. Um, I think we were both just so on edge after that video. That video just kind of... Oh, that was the other thing Dustin said. He said he felt drained. And I felt drained as well. And this is another thing that happens is we seem to pick up on each other's emotions and feel the same things at the same time. And that's what happened in that church. Neither of us said what we were experiencing and the thoughts go into our head. But when we talked about it on WhatsApp video... A couple of weeks later it was identical and it's so strange and um yeah it's weird i think that's why we want to go down the route of actually helping vulnerable people who people cast away in society because we both have huge empathy for that and understanding of that and I kind of see that that's the way we will go together and we'll be stronger for that. I feel like we, I feel like that church experience was to say you two have been brought together because together you will make a bigger impact and do something better. We, you know, we've talked about setting up our own charity and everything. Um, so who knows? <laughs> who knows? It's kind of exciting to think, isn't it? But I would love for you to share your comments and share any experiences that you've had with the paranormal. What do you think it is? Do you believe in it? Don't you believe in it? Um, have you experienced anything where you felt like you had a message from God and how did it feel to you and how do you know? I just, I find it fascinating and I know Dustin does too and I think Dustin's more open to the spirit world now than he was before he was very much into his bible and it was something that i was very worried about that we would clash over um because i don't like people who bible bash and throw it you know just consistently in your face with it but i think dustin is now is looking he, he's expanding his thoughts and how he views things um and i think he's definitely realizing things are about energy connections and now that he's heard things when we've been talking, he's definitely questioning what it is. And that's what it is. You have to keep questioning. You have to, you know, that's how we expand and grow as human beings. And there's definitely something more. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm so sorry. I'm rambling. <laughs> so, yes, please like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everybody.